this bitch is literally threatening to call the fucking police at the party that I'm at. She's like, I will shut this shit down right in fuck now. Like, y'all gonna get this motherfucker. Like but like, she really took it there to lie. So I got mad as fuck. Like, I'm sitting in the back seat. I'm like, Gabrielle, what the fuck is your problem? Like, I literally sat up here and told you I did not want to fucking come. And I was like, starting to like get, I was getting loud with her because I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me plus story time, bitch about the time my sister threatened to call the police at a party that i was at and everybody knew i was her sister my toxic best friend lied to get me there to that party when i told her i didn't want to go but she lied to get me there also this look was inspired by a young Selena Gomez post I found on Pinterest I thought was so cute so it inspired this look today um, I don't know I was feeling a little bit insecure because like my pimples are peeking through and my skin doesn't look the best because I have to mix like vitamin E oil with my foundation because it like breaks me out so it's very sheer and like coverage but you know what who says you're not perfect who says you're not worth it who's you know what I mean like you know what I mean like gain confidence bitch yeah I have my makeup here, my makeup here, my brushes, and my mirror. So let's get started. So by the way, okay, this is like part one to like the many parts of like my toxic friend little series. I might do, I might not. I don't know because I don't have, I don't have any beef with her, but like I do want to like, I have story, like story times with her that are like crazy that I want to tell and I should be able to tell because like they're my experiences and if she gets embarrassed or like upset, then maybe she shouldn't have done it. She should do some self-reflection instead of getting mad at me. But um, I feel like I have a right to tell my stories and stuff like that, but I also feel like we have no beef and I don't want to like air her out like that because maybe she did change. Maybe she like matured since we like, since we've stopped being friends. I don't know. So I don't even know what to title this story. The story, the time my talk Toxic ex best friend. She lied to get me into the car so we could go to a party I told her I didn't want to go to because somebody was gonna be there that was very uncomfortable for me. And she just lied. Okay. So I had this big friend group in like middle school and we were all like really good friends and like we got along very well and just we were just really close and some bullshit drama happened and we just all split apart like all of us there was like a cute like six of us and we all just separated but me and I'm gonna I'm call the toxic friend Gabrielle me and Gabrielle stayed friends until we graduated high school so one day me and Gabrielle mostly me because Gabrielle she didn't really care for like the other girl that much but one day I was like I really miss how we used to be like I really miss how like we used to be like best friends like all of us and how like we'd hang out every weekend and like do bonfires and like I just miss how close we all were and like we all separated and it's really sad and stuff like that and so I was telling her this and I was like we should make a group chat and ask all the girls hey like we haven't hung out in a long time the drama's dead you know it's over with you know like we were seniors at this point and I was like we're about to graduate soon and like we should like catch up like I miss like when we used to be friends and stuff like that like if y'all are down then like we should all hang out this weekend like have a little like friend reunion type thing and so I reached out to like three of the girls three other girls one said that she would love to but she couldn't come they were all down but one couldn't come but the two other ones I was so close with they were down and they were able to come so me Gabrielle and those two other girls we had made plans over the weekend to hang out at my house after school and we were gonna catch up and like have this like cute little reunion Union, right so fast forward it's friday and gabrielle rides home with me and we're just waiting for this little reunion thing and so it's around like 7 p.m and both girls show up and we're like hugging we're like oh my gosh it's been so long like that little petty ass drama was so stupid like it's so sad that we couldn't stay friends throughout high school type thing and just catching up we're like oh are you a virgin are you a virgin like you know just being silly it's around like maybe like 10 ish now or 9 ish it's around like, it's around like nine ish and we're like okay we're all together we can drive now like what's the move like what should we do you know what i mean we're like looking through snapchat and seeing like if someone's throwing a party or like what's what's the move you know what i mean and so one of the girls she finds a move and she's like oh there's a party tonight and we're like bitch who 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 because like we want to go you know what i mean and she says oh it's so and so's party i'm gonna just call him robert she's like it's robert's party and i was like bitch robert Bitch, let me tell y'all who the fuck a robber is. Robber is my toxic ass sister's ex-boyfriend. And I'm like, bitch, hell no. Like, I'm not going to that. My other friend was also like, no. Okay, I'm gonna call the two girls. One of them, I'm gonna call them Brittany. And the other girl is going to be Sasha. So me and Sasha, we were 
best friends like the close up we were, we were closer than anybody else in the group but like we unfortunately stopped being friends so me and Sasha were like hell no because we both didn't feel comfortable it was like a, a, a whole thing with like her boyfriend gets upset and you know something it's been like that but long story short me and Sasha did not want to go we were like that's too much because that would have made me in a really uncomfortable situation like imagine me and mind y'all me and Robert Loki had like a cute little like friendship like thing ourselves so he would say hi to me in the hallways he would um be like oh this is my little sis and like we'd like laugh and kiki you know i would see him all the time because he was my sister's boyfriend and like we were friends low-key like through my sister through him dating my sister and i was just like after they broke up if i go to his house his literal house like bitch that's really weird and i don't want to do that so i was like bitch no but like she wanted to go so bad my toxic friend her um gabrielle she was she wanted to go so bad she said like, come on kahea like there's no other moves tonight like we really want to like have fun like if we don't go there's nothing else to do blah 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 and i was like i'm so sorry but like i don't feel comfortable doing that the other girl um britney she wanted to go too she was the one with the car too and she wanted to go so me and sasha did not want to go but britney and gabrielle wanted to go gabrielle was like okay okay how about this how about we call your sister and ask her like and see if it's okay and if it's okay with her then we'll go and i'm like okay okay fine my job gabrielle she's friends with like my entire family like we've implemented her into our family like she talks to my mom my sisters all that so she was like okay i'm gonna call your sister and see if it's okay so she calls my older sister and she tells her like hey like there's a um party tonight at so-and-so's house and Kahea is like getting all trippy about going like would you mind if we went and she was saying no like she wouldn't but she wouldn't mind y'all Gabrielle was talking to her like this like she wouldn't let us hear what she was saying and so she didn't let us hear what she was saying and she hung up the phone was like she said that she's okay with it backtrack that's actually not true she did let me talk to her on the phone when she called her but all my sister said was that it's okay with us going. My sister was like, yeah, it's fine if y'all go. Like, it's fine. And then I was still, like, kind of iffy about it because I was still kind of, like, feeling like, mm, it's still going to be, like, kind of weird, though. Like, I talked to my sister for, like, a little bit. Then she she took the phone off the speaker and talked to her for that little bit of time. And I guess in that little bit of time that they were talking alone amongst themselves, that's my sister said that she was going. And honestly, I fucking believed her because I heard her voice on the phone. And I was still iffy about it, but Gabrielle was like, not only did she say that we can go, she said that she's going too. So she'll be there. And I'm like, oh, okay, period. I was like, okay, fine. As long as my sister is going to be there, then I'll go. Because like, it, then, it, then it won't be weird. We can still have fun. You know, I don't have to talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it'll, it'll be fine. You know what I mean? If he's okay with her, then he's obviously okay with me going. If my sister's going to go, then I will go. So we all, you know, get ready, whatever. We pack up, we get into her car and we start driving to robert's house and also like another like little mind job like robert lives like not too far from me but like a cute little distance like he lives in the, in the next town over so we start driving to robert's house i'm just excited to have like a good night with my like friends and catch up and have fun because usually usually when like you catch up like with like old friends it's kind of awkward if there's if there's nothing to do but like if there's like a party or like a situation where like y'all can have fun together you bond with way more and it's just way more like fun and like not awkward you know what i mean we get to robert's house and bitch we pull up and when i fucking tell you bitch there was nothing but like three cars there i was like bitch party bitch this is not a motherfucking party like girl there was no noise no music no nothing and there was like only three fucking cars i was like uh-uh girl like bitch what party like this is not a party if the party's lit bitch you can hear the music bumping from outside but bitch it was dead silent and there was only three fucking cars there and i was like uh-uh girl what the fuck is this but you know what i was like okay my sister's inside you know it's fine but i was feeling like awkward and scared because there was not as many people as i thought there was gonna be and i was like okay well tell my sister to come out and get us because like i'm like scared and like awkward and shit she didn't say anything to me and i was like uh hello can you tell my sister to come out and get us she was just like kind of like ignoring me i'm like gabrielle can you tell my sister to come out her and sasha are in the front seat and me and Brittany are in the back seat and she turns around and looks at me and says your sister's not coming bitch what bitch what this bitch turns around and looks at me and says i lied your sister's not actually coming 
Like, this bitch really calculated this shit to get us here. Like, bitch, you want to go so that fucking bad. Like, be so fucking for real. Like, bitch, I was, I got mad as fuck. Because, bitch, I told her, I was like, bitch, I do not want to go if she's not coming. Because that's fucking awkward and shit. And I don't want to be awkward. Like, she just put me in an uncomfortable situation. Like, this is fucking awkward for me. Like, I told her, I let her know that. And if she was a good friend, she would have respected that and would have been like, okay, I understand. But no, she wanted to go that fucking bad bitch there's this whole theory that like we have that we think that like she was low-key like obsessed with him like because bitch she would literally talk about him all the fucking time mind y'all she is friends with my older sister too so it's just some shady ass shit like just like girl like please calm down like it's not that fucking serious but like she really took it there to lie so i got mad as fuck like i'm sitting in the back seat i'm like gabrielle what the fuck is your problem like i literally sat up here and told you i did not want to fucking come and i was like starting to like get i was getting loud with her because i was like bitch what the fuck so we start arguing she's talking about like don't don't talk to me like that this that and the third i'm like well no because bitch don't fucking lie like all this stuff we're getting into it and um britney is also like on my side because like why would she sit up here and lie like that's not cute and then like sasha and like britney or whatever they're, they're trying to like calm us down and like it's it's fine just chill like whatever but bitch is not chill because i'm literally sitting outside of his house i'm sitting outside this man's house like we're, we're here like we're already here and like i didn't drive sasha drove and she wants to go too so there's no like oh like keep, take me back no i mean like there's no take me back home or nothing because we're already here we're a little bit of ways away from my house and we're literally in his fucking driveway so i'm like oh my fucking god so i have no fucking choice but to fucking like be here that shit was so fucking lame when i tell y'all me and me and gabrielle just were not compatible at all she's a virgo and i'm a libra and it's just like i don't know if it was like an opposite to track type thing because it was like i loved her and she loved me and like we were like good friends and we stayed friends for so fucking long but i promise you this girl would get on my fucking nerves and i know we get on hers it was just like we low-key hated each other but like we loved each other too it was just a weird friendship but like girl like she would get on my nerves so fucking bad and i know i would get on her nerves and just we just argue all the fucking time like all the time i feel like my my arguments were more reasonable than hers we ain't gonna talk about it but anyway so yeah like i'm here i can't do shit about it one of the guys from the party comes out and to our car because that's the guy who texted gabrielle that there was a party at robert's house and like their friends so he came out to our car and we wrote we wrote down the window and he starts talking to us and he's saying oh like are y'all gonna go inside like why y'all still hanging out outside and i was like girl i don't even want to get out the car like and I think, I think Brittany was going to stay in the car with me because she didn't want to go either. And she thought that that shit was shady too. That she had like lied to get me there. Like girl, be so fucking for real. But this guy, he sees me in the back seat and he starts talking to me. And this nigga starts talking like slick out the mouth. He's getting an ad to me. He's being rude as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? We literally start arguing. Like, I don't know. This nigga starts just airing my ass out and just being so fucking rude. And like, I'm like, shit, I'm fucking talking like that. You fucking weak ass nigga. Like just go, we're just going off. Fucking weird ass, but no, no, no. No, before that he starts going off on this tangent about how much he hates my fucking sister my jaw he's best friend with robert and he's just going off and like going on and on about how much he hates my sister and how much like she's a bitch she's this that and the third and mind y'all like me and my sister don't get along at the fuck off but um she's still my sister and stuff like that so i was like damn like but like honestly what he was saying though I couldn't really defend her like like my sister she has a reputation like and I couldn't really sit up here and like defend her really because she's done some crazy ass shit like at my school and everything like people knew her because like I don't know she just did some crazy ass shit in high school and like she gave herself a reputation so like I couldn't really sit up here and defend her but I was just kind of like okay like, you know what I mean we started arguing so I think he started like coming for me next or some crazy shit that's also another reason why I didn't want to go because like I'm around all his friends and like obviously he goes back and like you know bitches to his friends about like my sister and shit like that so like they have an idea of what my sister's like through his lens which is obviously like not good and so to be her like little sister and come it's just like you know i just wanted i just didn't want to deal with all that exhibit fucking a bitch because we start i start arguing with his friends and shit britney bless bless her bless her heart because she starts she tries to defend me and stuff with him she's like this is why we don't want to come in is that so love her but um yeah and then like so i texted my sister and told her what the fuck happened 
I told her about the guy who was talking shit about her and about how he, he started getting wild with me. And so my sister, like, she's fucking, I don't know, dude. She like, um, low key, like a firecracker and like, she can get like really fucking pissed about things. And so I told her that and she was like, oh, hell no. And so she fucking calls Robert. She calls Robert herself. She automatically knew who I was talking about. I didn't even know him or anything or his name or nothing. She called Robert and she's going off and she's like, you better get so and so that boy this bitch is literally threatening to call the fucking police at the party that i'm at she's like i will shut this shit down right in front of me i'm gonna get this motherfucker like going off on him i'm like bitch she's going off on him but i'm fucking like i'm literally here i'm literally outside of his house like i was like oh fuck me because i have we haven't even gone inside yet bitch and she's going off on him and once again like i'm the, i'm the little sister of the crazy bitch so it's like i literally don't want to even fucking be here like i'm so fucking embarrassed not only am i embarrassed but i'm fucking scared to go inside because i don't know if he's gonna give it to me or what or like you know what i mean because i like, ruined his party or whatever but i was like boy what the fuck like i i guess i appreciate her like trying to stand up for me stuff like that but bitch like i not while i'm literally in his presence type shit you know what i mean like everybody knew that i was her little sister so i was like fuck i don't want them to like fucking throw my ass out and give me a hard time for what the fuck she was doing well that's a small example of the rep reputation rep reputation she gave herself in high school damn she's crazy dude like she'd be doing crazy ass shit but anyways um so yeah like she's over here threatening to call the police we haven't even gone inside yet and i'm just like bitch you got me fucked up if you think i'm going inside now because what the fuck i just want to go the fuck home that boy is like t like motioning and motioning us to like come on inside another thing y'all like mind y'all like robert he knew i was like outside of his house that boy was like oh robert wants to talk to you bitch the fuck the fuck bitch why the fuck you want to talk to me he was like oh robert wants to talk to you i was like bitch i was like what the fuck i'm not scared of him or nothing like that but i was like what i ain't got shit to say to your ass like wait i'm like fuck dude like i don't want to look like a little bitch and sit in the car so i was like fuck i put my big girl panties on bitch and we fucking go inside and we're walking up the driveway and the garage door like the big garage door is open i see robert i'm like i'm fucking i'm actually kind of like low-key scared like not that he's gonna like do anything to me but i'm just like bitch i'm embarrassed like it was very chill like he was being very chill and very nice to me and he was like saying like bro like your sister is going off on me he was like black but he was one of them like he was like whitewashing shit so he was like bro like your sister's like going off on me dude i was like i know like i don't know what the fuck she's doing like i, I didn't tell her to do that but like he was so nice to me not that he ever gave me like weird vibes or nothing but like i don't know i was just kind of like scared to go inside because i was like i don't want to like be like you know like them to jump on my ass because of what my sister did do you see all the trouble that i got into because she wanted to lie and take me there like i caused commotion just by showing up and i knew that some shit was gonna like i just knew that some bullshit was gonna happen and if she would never lied to me i would have fucking like saved me the motherfucking trouble and all this fucking back and forth and argument and shit but no like we had to go to this lame ass party mind y'all we walked inside there's nobody fucking there apparently he was gonna have a party but i guess since my sister was threatening to call the police he just was like fuck it like you know i told people not to come anymore type thing i was like damn like she fucking like ruined the little party or whatever so like we just sit there and talk talk with them for like two seconds and then we get in the car and leave because there's like nothing going down we get in the car and we leave because literally he was just like yeah i don't i'm not having a party anymore anyway so like whatever so we, we just left i'm still mad at her i'm just like bitch like uh, like don't even fucking talk to me like i was hella outgrowing her like early on i don't know i feel like we were never really supposed to be friends like our personalities are just so fucking different like she's very much like out there and chaotic and i'm more reserved and, sh and stuff like that like i don't know it might it might not look like i am but i am really reserved and we just think differently and things like that like we have nothing fucking in common but i also feel like that's also why like we clicked because like it was like the all business attract thing i feel like through her presence and like what i learned from being her friend was to like take chances and like take risk and have more fun and let loose a little, bit, a little bit more like i'm still like i was still like uptight like i still am but like it was so much the point where it was just like i was just so scared to do everything but like she really like pushed me to like be more like outgoing literally just have fun every now and again like it's okay to like have fun
which i thank her for that but you know like how when like you're around like your friend for a long time like y'all kind of like start to like talk the same and act the same a little bit i would just say that like picked up some characteristics through our friendship from her i, I guess i would say but i obviously have my own like identity and my own um character other than her but like i feel like some parts helped build my character through our friendship which i'm thankful for because it really did help me a lot like yeah like i guess more confident during like the late late junior year early senior year was when i was kind of like telling myself like, i'm like really like outgrowing our friendship like we don't click we argue all the time i really don't like the way she makes me feel or treats me and acts like i told y'all like, she's very she's very much out there but like sometimes like it would just be a little bit too much for me like way too much for me i was telling my sisters that too and like they were just saying like well like if you don't think that like you want to be friends with her then just say it I don't know it was hard for me to just be like i don't want to be friends anymore and i want to be around people that influence me to do better and to um, grow and prosper and all types of things and not like do bad things like her bad behavior was not influencing me at all but i feel like i just didn't want to be around stuff like i don't want to be around that anymore and like i needed to heal so badly and like i needed to isolate myself and get away from any distractions or things that i feel like would hold me back and i feel like our friendship would have held me back i just wanted to quickly mention for the last time i feel like everybody comes to your life for a reason and i feel like she did come into my life for a reason and i came into her life for a reason and we could both learn a few things from each other but overall and i did i did take away some good things from being friends with her that i appreciate our friendship for but um i feel like the bad definitely overpowered the good to the point where i like we needed to stop being friends and i couldn't be friends with her anymore but i wish her well on her journey also it sucked because all my siblings so if i stop being friends with her my sisters will still be friends with her and i have to i don't have to still see her and be around her and shit like that so it was just like easier just to stay friends it was easier to be friends with her than it was to not be friends if that makes any sense but i was like girl i'm over i can't do it anymore but yeah that was also that was um a moment that i had with myself where i was just kind of like girl yeah this is like one of the reasons why like i just don't like want to be around her or like be friends with her anymore it was just giving like girl this is the shit that i'd be talking about type thing like i just don't like that like you know what the fuck y'all wasn't on y'all wasn't on tell me i had that shit on my lips like we were like frenemies low-key like we had like beef but we were still friends like okay this is the final look my little selena gomez inspired not recreation but like inspired look we like it it's warming up to me i had to pull on some lashes because i don't know i looked a little bit off or we without them so yes that was this video if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i love you so much bye